night, I said to him, what happened to you, dear? And he said, ah, oh, Kathleen, I'm giving thanks that I'm home with you again. I thought for sure I was lost. Just a wee drop of tea, and I might be able to tell you me tale. You know, I was over at the Ryan's house, and a very happy occasion it was, too. Not a drop of drink, I'm telling you. Well, the party broke up early, so I set off across the field. A fine evening it was, as I made my way betwixt the two lights. Oh, I should have known. I should have known, betwixt the two lights. It's the magic time. Well, I hadn't gone very far when I realized that I was in a strange place and not in the field that I know at all. So I quickly took off my coat, turned it inside out, and put it back on again. Unfortunately, this didn't help in the least. For whichever way I went, whichever way I turned, I was faced with this unknown and impenetrable fence. I ran back and forth back and forth, trying to find my way out. In despair, I crouched down by an oak to wait, thinking, it's all in my mind, this confusion. It would pass, I said to myself. So I closed my eyes, and I prayed to the Lord that when I opened my eyes, I would know my surround. But when I opened my eyes, what do I see? But a little man standing quietly in the field, not ten paces in front of me. He seemed so real and solid. There was never a question about his humanity, not even for a moment. Small though he was, he was perfectly proportioned. He was looking out in the field and not in my direction at all. So I bade the man good evening in Irish. But the man even made no response. So I said it again. And a third time, louder still. And I thought to myself, maybe he doesn't understand the Irish. So I said it again in English. Good evening. Still nothing. I thought to myself, well, what am I going to do now? I don't know. I'll give him a bit of a song. So I sang. I'm a rambler, I'm a gambler, I'm a long ways from home. And if you don't like me, well, leave me alone. I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry. And if moonshine don't kill me, I'll live till I die. Ha! <laughs> Still nothing. Well, I'm getting a bit angry by this time. Here I am, standing in a field that I've never been in before. And right before my eyes is a leprechaun. Who doesn't understand the Irish? Or appreciate a fine performance. <laughs> <laughs> so I cursed the little man. I cursed him fluently in Irish. Whereupon the little man turned and looked me full in the face and vanished completely. Well, my dears, I'm off to my bed. Look at the borders, bloody great hypocrites. Is a dick man poised to be bloody well dead? Let's not have a slipper, let's have a bloody good cry. And always remember the longer you live, the sooner you'll bloody well die. Look at the preacher!